Hello everyone, today I am coming with a new video and this video is about major management, how to do major management better. Now as you can see I have this table and I have a lot of majors which are lying in this table and there are another table which also have few majors and I would like to ma manage them better into folders or subfolders probably to have a better uh, management of the my majors. Now how to do it, is there a way we can create folders in Power BI? So there is no concept of folder, but we can keep our majors inside tables. So what we have to do is we have to create a major table. And this is name, not necessarily need to be major, but we can actually, just for the simplicity, calling it as a major table, you can call it anything. And we can have it like column name as major one, or we can call it column, because we don't want to show it anyway. So we can keep any name. And we can have the any data just for the sake of having this table and it will behave like a table which you have loaded with the data and as you can see this table got added here and if you go ahead and you know you can hide this column anyway you don't want to show it and once you don't have visible major it will hide but we'll show how to do it so what we are going to do is we are going to create a new major and once you create a new major here you have an option where to choose the table to we'll try it again because we need to have some definition of her. So we have, let's say I want to create some of sales. Uh, we have sales and inside we have this gross sales. So we have created this, we have this major and we can actually go ahead by this major and then choose the major table or we can actually click on the major table and create this major. So uh, we get it uh, major into the major table. Now how to move existing major, the way is very simple, you click on a major which is here and you can actually move it to major table. But the question is do I need to go one by one all of them, you might have hundreds of major, is this is the right way. If you try to check it out here, there is no option. So if I click here, if I press shift, if I press control, I can't select more than one. But yes, if you have model data access. You can definitely do that if you go there you actually can if you see i am able to select with control and i have a lot of majors and they are pretty much in the same sequence so i can actually do it with shift so i take them with shift and i can actually drag and move it into major table so all of them move to major table now i can actually with control select rest of them and again i can move them to major table so now comes to the question is uh, we have able to move it but can we organize it better can we have concepts of like subfolders so yes possible here but again in the model tab this is one hidden option which is there so if you select this gives a display folder option so we are going to use that display folders so we select this year lytd this is my year major this is my last year major and i call it year major so i call it year display folder and I click outside and you can see I have year here and I forgot to move this one so I can actually drag and move and if I go back I did not move completely I move it again I go to the visualization I start seeing a new folder and all my four measures are out there okay so let's uh, so we are able to see these um, options out here, we can better organize into subfolder but question comes in, what happen if I wrongly created this folder, can I remove it, yes you can remove it. So what you do is basically you take out these from here, I am going to take out these go back into the table or right now in the major table, I forgot one and see this till the time you are moving uh, uh, any major is remaining into this subfolder, it is still there but if I move the last one and that is what important thing is the moment I move the last one from here to outside any table actually the subfolder will go away now question make up your mind can we remove this table also yes we can we what we are going to do is we are going to select all these and then what we are going to do we are going to just select the major which is which is column major which is already not selected out here and we actually can go back and move all of them back to the customer table and I can now pretty much I don't have anything in this table I can go ahead and delete it from my model so I am back at the same place so this is the way how to create a major 
how to put a new major you just click on the new major table and then get your major inside the major table you can move one major or more than one major you can create subfolders you can delete subfolders and in fact you can delete back the major table itself so try this out this is a better way to organize your majors uh, let us know if you have more questions where you want us to create the videos thank you